So there was a reporter once who asked Pope John Paul II, what do you like to do with your free time? And the Pope had a quizzical look on his face and he said, all my time is free. You ever stop to consider how much free time we ought to have with all these time-saving gadgets that we've invented in the last few years? We should be the most leisurely generation that's ever lived. But as you know, we're the busiest generation that's ever lived. Why do you think that is? Blaise Pascal once said that we stay busy because we want to. Because it's easier to stay busy than it is to face the silence. Because it's in the silence that we have to hear the voice of God who's challenging us to let go of what's keeping us from him. So in the gospel this week, we hear the rich young man and he hears the voice of the Lord to let go of what he's clinging to, to give his wealth to the poor so that he'll be free. But he won't do it. He tells Jesus, no. And the gospel tells us that he walks away sad. Mother Teresa of Calcutta used to say that whenever she saw one of her sisters sad, she knew that somewhere in her heart, she was saying no to Jesus. When the Lord asks us to let go of what we're clinging to, he's trying to set us free. Because what we gain far exceeds anything that we sacrifice. Look at the apostles. You got Peter in the gospel saying, Lord, we've given up everything to follow you. If you like saying to Peter, you know, Peter, what'd you really give up? You know, your fishing nets. And look what the Lord has done for you in exchange for that. Listen, you want to know what you're clinging to in life? Here's your challenge for the day. Look to your excesses. Because in the excesses of your life, that you have the clingings of your heart, excesses of time, excesses of money, excesses of attention. Like for example, I knew a guy who played 300 rounds of golf in a year, right? That's not easy to do, that's excess. St. John of the Cross said that those excesses hold you down like a bird that's tied down with a string, born to fly, but tethered to the earth. Don't be afraid to let go. It's the Lord who calls. And if today you hear his voice, harden not your hearts. Click here to get the latest two minutes to virtue sent to your inbox every Sunday morning.